Hey, Matt and Pete here from Mainline Everland. We've got our 2021 Bronco uh, first edition Sasquatch package that we finally got after ordering in uh, July of 2020. We wanted to do a little unboxing video. We picked this up from the dealer kind of right off the truck. So it's still dirty, still has all the plastics on it, everything like that. All the stickers, all so the we thought we'd, Yeah, we thought we'd run through kind of, uh, you know, how they arrive off the truck and uh, pulling all the uh, little protective goodies off of it. So yeah. let's, let's get started. Let's dig in. Cool. All right, so we'll start at the front of the vehicle and then we can kind of work our way around. That sounds good, Pete. Yeah. Um, you know, first of all, we have the, uh, the modular HD uh, front bar. Um, obviously, it's got the, the two tow hooks in here uh, for recovery points. We've got our park sense. Um, we also have the uh, the brush guard that was included. Um, you know, feels a little bit tight in here, but I think that uh, you know this, this hoop's got to be tall enough to, to clear the camera, and you obviously have like lane assist um, sensors and things like that up front. So overall, a nice look. Um, you've got the gloss black grill with the white Bronco lettering, which is pretty cool, and the LED headlights and everything. Um, we've got limberizer kind of option here. Um, yeah. I have seen some aftermarkets where you can actually flush that out if you don't like that look. Um, Max load of 150 pounds. Yeah. So I guess for uh, kind of tying down your canoes and whatnot. Yeah, You're true. not using true. those uh, limberizers. Yeah. So. Why don't we move to the uh, the front wheels and tires and kind of go through what yeah. we got size wise, right? Yeah. So this is the Sasquatch package. Uh, we've got the big kind of fender flares here. Um, what you'll see different on the Sasquatch trucks is um, the kind of tire bar that uh, bolts on onto the smaller um, Bronco setups is removed. So that unbolts. If this didn't have the Sasquatch package, it would have kind of a square bar that comes out, um, you know, that will work with the smaller tire. Same deal on the front, um, that is removed. Normally you'd have kind of a, a you know, a, a square steel block um, there. So. Um, we have 315 uh, Goodyear Territory MTs, kind of an interesting new tire. Um, you know, we, we will probably be swapping these out pretty quickly, um, but overall, this is 34.4 uh, in terms of overall diameter. So, you know, not quite a 35, but kind of that metric equivalent as close as you can get. And then we have um, that beadlock type wheel here uh, that comes with the Sasquatch package. So. So the Sasquatch edition um, comes with these kind of factory decals on the hood. You also have them on the, uh, the side um, kind of running board area. You get the first edition badge here um, with the Sasquatch little logo here. Pretty cool little, little uh, item. You've got a lot of little, uh, you know, kind of arrows and uh, labels all over the vehicle for accessory ready. So we've got an accessory ready area right here where you can mount uh, kind of ditch lights accessory ready up here on the windshield pointing to where they have uh, you know factory options uh, roof rack kind of uh, longitudinal rails that will run down here so a lot of little uh, areas that kind of bring to your attention the ability to add accessories and that's definitely something that we're going to be doing uh, with this build all right so moving down the side of the vehicle um, you know also on the mirrors we have that nice kind of piano black to match the, uh, the grill up front you can see we have that uh, that side camera here, along with our turn signal. So this does have that 360 camera system. Um, you'll also notice this kind of rock rail here. Um, pretty cool little feature. Kind of reminds me of the uh, the JK or, or JL Rubicons. Um, however, it is still body mounted, not frame mounted. So we'll see how that holds up and kind of leaves some room for improvement. Um, Moving down the side of the vehicle, we uh, got a little push out for the fuel fill here. And if you look at the little decal here. Um, it's got a, a funnel if you're going to be using a jerry can for filling versus uh, a fuel pump. Um, and actually, they do provide that little funnel here in our spare tire kind of replacement kit. So, kind of a nice little feature if you're going to be using jerry cans out in the trail um, with that system. So, moving to the back of the vehicle, we can see we've got our full size spare here. We've got our rear mounted camera. Um, third brake light, which if we're going to go bigger than uh, like a 35, essentially what this is. We're gonna to have to modify the mounting to, to space that up a little bit. Um, we've got our Bronco logo, which looks super cool, and our LED tail lights. We do have two uh, recovery points tow hooks here in the back, in addition, um, and kind of the little tread plate. If you're gonna be standing on the bumper, accessing things on the roof, so kind of a nice, nice feature. All right, so moving into the interior, we got the driver door open here. 
First thing you notice is that cool frameless door. Um, so kind of a nice little feature. All right, we're inside the Bronco now. Um, one of the cool features we wanted to show you right off the bat is uh, we've got our, our kind of sway bar disconnect situation here button. We've got our, our front locker, rear locker, and um, this button here is for the kind of individual rear wheel kind of locking so we can actually turn tighter um, going around corners or if we need to kind of bail out of a trail and, and, uh, and drag a wheel to be able to turn a little bit tighter. So that's a great feature and then traction control and obviously hazard. Up top we have six auxiliary switches which are going to be awesome for uh, any kind of lighting or switch circuits um, that we want to wire in and not have to kind of drill a bunch of holes in the dashboard. We got our standard kind of uh, controls down here for the radio and for uh, air conditioning. Our cool little shifter here with the Bronco on it again. Um, nice little American flag kind of etched into it as well. We also have a nice badge down here indicating that it is a first edition Bronco. We've got our USB ports uh, and charging mat as well. Another grab handle here. So you've got a total of, uh, of three. You've got one for the driver getting in and out and two for the passenger uh, if things get a little wild. Apart from that, we can kind of turn on the ignition here. You can see we've got a nice uh, display set up for dash here. Let's run through all those features. So, you know, mile an hour, RPM, uh, fuel indication. Big old dash screen here for our nav and everything like that. Right. Uh, we have a nice little power port here, USB power port um, that we can use to run cameras, uh, iPhone, etc you've got a mount here an accessory ready mount as well we have our uh, different uh, four-wheel drive selections here we've got we're in two high now obviously we can go to four low four high or four auto and then we do have uh, kind of a terrain mode as well which is a great feature on this vehicle switch work uh, similar to jeeps and whatnot are going to be on the center console kind of hard to see right now but a little bit easier for when you pull the door um, the mirror adjustments also on the center console um, so you still have full feature uh, access um, when you are running with the doors off. We go ahead and open up this glove box here. Got some stuff in here. We got a cool little pouch with the Bronco on it and the carabiner. Let's see what's inside. Got a cool little tool kit. A um, little ratchet and some different sockets. Otherwise, we've got a supplemental owner's guide um it's probably going all over all the features on the vehicle and that's all we have in the in the glove box um center console probably a little bit hard to see um but we've got a 12 volt power port in here um nice and deep we've also got a little kind of change or pen organizer um, and otherwise it's just a nice deep well to, uh, to fit all your goodies in. All right, let's, uh, let's pull some of these wrappers off these seats and reveal what we got underneath it, all right? We got a nice, uh, leather slash vinyl seats. Um, nice little, uh, the Bronco logo, the horse, um, you know, embossed in the seat. Really nice, uh, really nice quality. Looking pretty comfy. We've got a... Uh, side airbags um, that are integrated in them. We'll pull this headrest cover off as well. Nice. All right, uh, on the rear here, we have some pretty cool kind of almost like a, a Molly-esque uh, panel that we could use to, uh, you know, put some bags, some soft bags on for, for gear storage. We've got a nice little net here as well. Um, we also have some power ports. We've got uh, kind of a dual USB type situation here. Um, and then we have our, uh, our inverter plug here. That's a, a 110, 400 watt max inverter. And um, we have our rear window switches. So when we uh, pull the doors, we don't have to deal with uh, disconnecting anything or losing that switch, uh, et cetera. So uh, no step indicated here, uh, kind of a, an airplane type vibe, but we don't want to mess up our console. All right, we have our removable uh, rear uh, passenger roof panel here um, with some, some cool little uh, disconnect uh, you know, handles so we can go ahead and free that up, make it easier for, for airflow or just removing the whole hard top as well. All right, we're gonna get all of the uh, protective film off of the vehicle, off of the seats, off of uh, all the screens, etc. So we'll start with, uh, with this stuff here on the door.
All right, so now we're at the back of the vehicle. One of the really nice parts that, that I feel uh, about the Bronco is that it is uh, kind of a three-section top. You've got the two, uh, two removal panels in the front, you've got the mid-section, and then you have the larger rear section. Um, unlike the Jeep JLs or the JKs, um, you'd only have a removable front section. So to get the whole top off in the rear is pretty uh, cumbersome because you have that full extension in the middle section of the vehicle. So this breaking down into three separate sections makes it a little bit easier to handle for like two people basically removing the back of the top. If you're removing the back of the top, um, it's Torx screws that are holding it um, to kind of the, the body rail. We also have quick disconnects for the electronics harness um, for your uh, brake lights and whatnot, and also for our windshield washer fluid here. What's nice um, that, that Ford's come up with is basically once these disconnect, you can actually plug them back into this interior panel so they're not kind of flapping around or uh, in the case of the windshield washer fluid um, leaking on the interior of the vehicle. Um, kind of a nice option um, that I find, you know, have been, having been a, a former Jeep owner and, and knowing that as a little nuance. All right, we're just gonna go over a couple little details in the back here. Um, we've got a rear cargo tie down points at the four corners of the back. You can see the little lasso uh, design here, keeping in theme with the Bronco logo. We've also got uh, rear cargo light here with the little Bronco, Bucking Bronco here, as well as a 12 volt outlet in the back here. So nice if you're gonna be running a fridge in the back potentially, uh, nice option. And then if we go and open up the back here, we can see we've got our, uh, our jack um, and also equipment to, to be changing your spare out um, if you get a flat tire. We also have the funnel here that we can use if we are gonna be filling uh, with the jerry can. Um, so nice little feature that, that Ford offers. And then we have some extra storage um, for gear and whatnot in the back here, maybe recovery gear, things like that. So the Sasquatch package um, has a lot of goodies that come with it, also being a first edition. Um, so we've got all these um, little goodies to go through. This is a uh, carrying case for the two front removable roof panels. And we can actually see it's labeled where in the back of the vehicle we're gonna be placing that. So that's a forward most bag that we're gonna be putting those, those panels into. Um, second, second bag we have is actually for the front doors. And that's gonna be kind of, you know, second in line potentially um, in the back seat here. We've got bags for the rear doors as well. That'll go in the rear section. Um, so that, that is included, um, as well as a bag for our kind of tie down kit um, for the rear cargo area. So you've got, um, you know, kind of storage bags for everything. Everything's well labeled and actually all the doors, all the panels of the roof will fit in these bags in the back of the Bronco, um, which is not the case, you know, when you're dealing with the Jeeps um, that, that we've seen. So pretty nice options here. Carrying cases. We've also got carpets, sanded carpets for the front, as well as um, we've got these interior carpet line um, rubber liners for the floors with the Bronco logo. Pretty sweet setup. Um, so we'll be busting these out of the bags as well and uh, getting them all installed. Final detail in the back here on the tailgate, we can see that we've, we've got accessory ready, written in here with arrows pointing to drill points. You know, if you're gonna put a tailgate table back here or things like that, you know, Ford's already thinking a couple steps ahead about how you're gonna accessorize the vehicle. So another neat feature um, that just allows you to accessorize your vehicle to your liking. All right, taking a look under the hood here, we got the 2.7 liter um, with the 10 speed. Uh, so a little bit of a bigger motor. We can kind of see, you know, there isn't really an engine cover. Uh, Ford shorted us a couple of uh, little hood mat hold downs, so let's hope that's we'll the only thing. Those. Um, and then, you know, space wise, not a whole lot of immediate available space. Um, big battery that maybe something could be done with in terms of uh, turning sideways or a double stack for dual battery potentially. Um, you know, we've got some other components that are kind of may maybe needlessly taking up some space over here that ECU, there might be some, yeah. uh, some relocation brackets down the line for. So. 
you know, we'll see what kind of what kind of comes out. You know, obviously we have you know space in the rear cargo area. We've got a bunch of, of space between um, the actual structure and the fender itself here for uh, running wiring, so that's helpful. Um, you know, usually there might be a closeout panel, but it's kind of readily accessible. So there it is, a whole big lot of wiring hoses. <laughs> All right, thanks for following along with our little uh, unboxing video of the new Bronco. Um, we're really excited to uh, be showing you all the ins and outs of the new platform, and uh, we look forward to doing some more mods in the future. See? Yeah, we got some wheel and tire packages we're gonna be trying out. Um, you know, different, different offsets, different widths. We're gonna have some different suspension packages from spacers to full suspension that we're gonna be uh, test bedding as well, along with a ton of other accessories. So stay tuned as we build this thing up, and uh, it's gonna be fun.